So, like the video title says, do not play this build unless you know some secret info that I do not know. So, with the more recent update that we got, Essador has got a massive buff. So, this is a brand new buffed unique item in the game and it has this bonus over here with a base damage got increased by 100% and it's got 50x multiplicative damage increased for every 100 intelligence. We've got a thousand intelligence, which is massive. This is on like the higher end of the game. So this is the item that I wanted to make a build around because it has kind of a secret skill that you cannot get in the game unless you have this item. So what is that skill? So looking at its unique power, upon collecting crackling energy, there's a 15% chance to release a lightning nova that deals a set amount of damage. But that damage gets increased multiplicatively by 50x for every 100 intelligence. That's basically where I was like, okay, maybe maybe this thing's gonna be good. I was excited to play it out. And uh, well, the results here, I'll show you in a second. So not only do we have bonus like crackling energy damage with this, let's go ahead and see like, you know, what else we get with crackling energy because there was a few changes on the Paragon. Uh, board as well. So as far as like some of the glyphs over here, there's one where you get like 100% crackling energy and then you get more damage by picking up crackling energy and you can still run this node. It's not a bad node. Everything's maxed out by the way. They're all level 21. Uh, but then there, on top of that, there's this over here where Cecil's Conduit gives a massive 153x multiplicative damage. Um, and on top of that, crackling has a chance not to be consumed. And we have our crackling energy getting increased by 3% per 20 intelligence. So this works really well. So it's supposed to be like an Estador's crackling energy. And I was so excited because I was like, dude, these multipliers are gonna be insane. I cannot wait to show you guys and play this. And then, uh, well, let's go ahead and get some gameplay of it and I'll, I'll try to break it down. So remember, Lightning Nova is only going to be working when we pick up a Crackling Energy at 15%. So we have a few different ways to apply Crackling Energy. We can use Unstable Currents to get basically all of our Lightning Skills. I also am pretty mid-maxed out. I have a Shaco, so it's going to give me plus to all the Lightning Skills. Sure, I could have put like four more points into all of my Skills. However, I want this build to do damage with specifically the Lightning Nova and the Crackling Energy. Okay, so keep that in mind. That's the point of the build. Otherwise, we end up just being a ball lightning build. I've also got a perfect flicker step, so it's a four, so we can maintain our unstable currents. And that was kind of where I wanted to go with this build. But let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, we can use a few different skills. We can even use Arc Lash, because Arc Lash will give us more cooldown reduction. Arc Lash is a relatively fast build. I've even got Moonrise here, so we can actually attack even faster uh, if we do decide to go with Arc Lash. But let's just go ahead and show off the gameplay of like, how much damage does the Crackling Energy do after you get all these multipliers and your Paragons complete or maxed out? You know, how good is it? Well. Let's grab the Crackling Energy, it, and let's see if we can get a Nova to spawn in. Okay, so you can see it, it killed the smaller trash, but we have all this Crackling Energy. So now that we have this Crackling Energy, how much damage does it do just against some of the smaller trash mobs? Look at how many Crackling Energy we're using right now. It's not even, it's, it, we've, we've expended all of our Crackling Energy right there and just like no damage. So you can see, it feels a little lackluster. Let's see if we can get a Lightning Nova to spawn. Oh, and remember, this isn't 100%. You have to pick up a Crackling Energy and it's a 15% chance to actually spawn in. But I have some video footage that I pre-recorded before showing this off. So that way you guys can actually see the numbers because, well, I would have to get a crit to kind of determine if the you know ability is good because we do scale crit damage in this. And because it's not a core or bass free skill, it's a lot harder to scale crit on this unless I ran like, um, let's say, Esu's boots to actually give myself extra crit strike chance. But I wanted to try to maintain unstable currents with this build so I can get as much crackling energy to spawn in as possible. So now that you guys get kind of the idea of it, let me go and actually show you some numbers so you guys can actually understand. So I already showed off crackling energy uh, doing like no damage and this is like another test over here and I was using, uh, I think ball lightning, or this is our arc lash, but I was trying to test out, you know, is the damage on the crackling energy any good? And the answer is still no. Uh, it's just very underwhelming. You'll see it like a couple targets over here. Let's see how much damage, 6K. There's a crit for 15K. This is like no damage whatsoever. Ball Lightning dunks on this build, absolutely. But what about the Lightning Novas, right? Because remember, even though we have all this crackling energy multipliers, how about the Lightning Nova, okay? So let's go check out the Lightning Nova. And uh, I put a time step over here. So it was like 106 was when we picked it up and it got a crit. This was the important thing because sometimes builds are determined on crits and like, you know, it's, it's harder to scale crits on, again, non-core, non-mastery for the Sorceress. So here's how much damage it actually does. You can see the Lightning Nova and it's the big number. It's the 280. So on a crit, on Lightning Nova, on a 15% chance proc rate, on a crit, which is, again, harder to scale on it, we're hitting for 
it's okay damage. Like uh, on the elite here, maybe like about a third. Let's see what the HP was. He was not at full HP. So he, he loses about a third, maybe a fourth of his HP with just one Nova. And if this could, if it was 100% chance proc rate on the Lightning Nova on every single one that we would pick up, it would be maybe an okay build. But this is kind of me showing this off as a Diablo partner. Hopefully a uh, Blizzard will be able to adjust this uh, within the next season or just give it like you would need to just make this have 100% chance proc rate. That's the easiest way to fix this and actually make it fun and actually good because remember you're losing out on resource cost reduction and i actually found out you can get chain lightning to give you extra resource and balance more time so you can spam it more often so you can get that crackling energy but what i found out in terms of like my testing uh is that ball lightning with the wizard's ball lightning actually has one of the better activation rates to actually give me crackling energy because remember on this one over here well i have to crit over here and then there's a 30% chance on a crit. So it's like, it's less and less. So it's bad, right? Uh, compared to this, this is 100% chance uh, as long as it hits four enemies. And at that point, I was just playing Ball Lightning. Uh, I was also trying out things with Arc Lash because Arc Lash can give me cooldown reduction. And then I was thinking, well, I can make good use out of the Shocking Impact, right? Because that's also what Astorus gives you. Now, if you can get this to like, let's say like level 15 on a passive, sure, it could one-shot things, but it does not one-shot things with just three to Shocking Impact, which makes it so when you are actually able to stun you can actually get some extra bonus damage all right guys i want to go into deeper testing with this testing the damage out against bosses because some skills in diablo scale with their damage against bosses there's also like lucky hit chance and as far as the range goes on lightning it's a lot more difficult to test however through testing on a vulnerable target i actually found some pretty respectable numbers here um it's gonna be faster i'm gonna have to try to pause it at the right moment so you guys can see maybe towards the min maxing of the skill how much damage can we can do look at that number right Right there there was a 1,269,000 damage off of the nova proc now i was like okay maybe the skill just is you know pretty decent against bosses but i was thinking about well what's the actual proc rate remember it's a 15 percent chance so let's go ahead and break it down with the math to find out if it's actually good so remember at a 15 percent chance proc rate that's an average of 6.6 .6 crackling energy pickups to activate one nova so in math terms that means we would have to pick up seven of the crackling energy to potentially get one that's not even counting if it crits which in this case it crit and of course with lightning again you can get anywhere from like one damage to 10,000 damage on average and in terms of action RPGs lightning is always like this if you play Diablo 2 you know exactly what I'm talking about with lightning or chain lightning it can roll one damage or like you know a quadrillion million okay so there's a there's a chance for the, the lightning damage to be pretty bad so if we were to look at this from a mathematical standpoint if I was to pick up seven crackling energies on average to activate one Nova and let's just count that it always hits pretty good that means on average each crackling energy that we would be picking up because we're getting that million 269 uh 649 damage and we would divide that by seven because i would have to pick up seven crackling energies to actually activate one nova so if we were to use that in terms of mathematical stats that is still far inferior to ball lightning which is just going to activate and just do all the damage all of the time versus me needing to walk around pick these up and hope and pray that that lightning nova actually activates and actually hits the target because maybe the target goes away like you know some bosses they have mechanics where you may pick it up and may go away so it's still pretty rough even if we looked at the target being vulnerable even if the target's hp scaled with bosses which is sometimes a case and a bug that uh, exists in certain skills that's why they had to nerf hydra so heavily but uh, even with all these numbers the crackling energy even if it hits for like 100k on a vulnerable target and rolls like a pretty decent roll it's still averaging out to be a lot worse so maybe this build could be a little bit better if it just activated every single time we picked up and then just lowered the number a little bit but to have a 50x multiplier on that it, it sounds really good, but I really want to say that it's kind of bait, but there's like the mathematical numbers and on a vulnerable target, because I'm pretty sure crackling energy doesn't really have a lucky hit chance, so it can't apply vulnerability. So then you'd also have to manually apply vulnerability on that window, because I don't know the lucky hit chance on the Lightning Nova, because again, it's kind of a secret skill. It doesn't exist in the game. All of these damage things and the whole Essador is being a unique item is just absolutely terrible, and uh, it was a huge bait for me to go ahead and go into. But I wanted to also to kind of use this video as a reach out to my community potentially if there's anyone out there uh that is able to make this build viable i asked my chat as well they can see someone else over here try to make the 
ceaseless crackling chain lightning uh it did no damage and someone else in my chat also said the same thing so i i wanted to say you know maybe maybe i'm building it bad but like you know i i usually make like the top builds in the entire game and even with a shako like if a shako cannot fix this with all the bonus skills that we'd be getting on all the things with unstable currents to just spawn on all these lightnings uh it just simply will not be good and i've even tried it like i said ball lightning was the the one that i had the most success with Esidorus is in a really really bad state considering this is a unique item i'm not saying every unique item needs to be best in a slot but it is far beyond even if you made it 100 chance it's still like a lot worse than ball lightning but i understand ball lightning is kind of over tuned right now but if there's any way to fix this or if you guys have any suggestions for other testings uh let me know and also i i I just swapped to this one, but even if I was to run this to hit more times, I mean, you already saw, it has to hit like 10 times to maybe even do it enough damage to kill just a small trash mobs, making it a little bit more or getting the extra crackling energy has a chance to bounce to an additional enemy. It's nowhere near enough to be a viable end game uh, build, even with, again, these paragon nodes that just seem like they're pretty good 150x multiplicative damage if you're to go to any skill and get like that amount it sounds like a lot but it just simply is not viable anyways that's it let me know your guys thoughts if you're new here hit subscribe to the bell because maybe someone out there in the comments will figure it out and we can drop another build guide but as far as i can tell right now do not play this it's a it's a huge waste of your time and i, I wasted all my stuff to get roll all of the things that would be for that like, crackling energy and uh <laughs> it was not a good time investment anyways catch you guys in the next one. He's not.